Hey, this is Stacia. We are going to play training game on chess.com. Um, so I basically, <laughs> I played some bullet earlier. I forgot about that. Um, so I basically uh, worked with two pretty strong chess kiddos. Um, and we did lots of tactics puzzles. So I'm already warmed up. Let's just go ahead and play training game. Of course, the best results for me come from when I can stay focused and not lose on time. So that's important. All right, so here we go. Hmm, didn't make a sound. Should have. Okay, there we go. All right, we've got Grand Monster. I feel like I played this person in Blitz. Um, let's go e5. I'll just play my normal stuff. Mostly because I want to play quickly. <coughs> okay. So I'm actually, um, going back to full time for progressive chess in about three weeks. <coughs> on October 15th. I'm quite excited about it. Basically took like a year long sabbatical and did nothing but teaching. But I kind of realized that I really like being part of a team. So it's a scotch. We'll just take. So that on hold though, let's play some chess. Um, okay, we've got scotch gambit. I'm just gonna go knight to f6 here. In the event of e5, I'll probably just go d5. Could get a max lang attack, or they could play it normal with bishop to b5, and I'll simply go knight to e4 there. Okay, so let's see what happens from here. Um, okay, so now a question I have, and I'm pretty sure the answer is no is do I have to move bishop c5? If I go bishop to c5, they could take, take, check, king f8, take my rook on a8. Then I take here, check, king f1. What is happening there? Yeah, I think there is a problem. Like, what What if they play bishop takes d5 in that position? That's concerning because it does attack the knight, which is defending the bishop, and I don't see, like, a forcing move there. I've been in that position before, I think, too. So I don't think bishop c5 is a move here. So I think I'll just go bishop to d7. Let's just break that pin. There is some other position that's very similar where you go bishop c5. But I just calculated that and it didn't look too good. So it wasn't this one. <laughs> um, oh, but I forgot I have that move. I have a move bishop a6, but I, I still don't think it was good. Yeah, okay, anyway. Let's move on with our lives. Um, I'll look at that after the game, though, because I want to understand what's going on. Okay, the castle. Bishop c5 makes sense now. I guess bishop b3. They could also try f f3, I guess. I think I like this move. It just looks normal. So um, I just want to play it quickly. So I'm behind on the clock though already. Let's check out our opponent a little bit. Grand Monster. Bob. Could that really be his name? Probably not, since he's in Texas. <laughs> okay. 
All right, looks like a real player. That's mainly what I check for. <laughs> um, F3, I think this is normal. So I could play knight g5 here with the idea of knight e6, but also with the idea of f4 and knight back, because that's a good square. They play a four, I like that square a lot. The other move is to take and allow queen takes. I, I don't want to help them develop, so we'll go here. They could also take, I mean, this is possible, but. Okay, I, I have a feeling we're still in theory. This looks normal, like mainline to me. Yeah, bishop b3. So now I do feel I should think about this move with a discovery on the bishop, but I'm still protecting it with my knight. So probably castling's okay now. I think I have to watch out for like e6 stuff here. So if I castle, they go e6. I mean, if I take, they take, I take. They take, I take. I think I'm fine. Rook b8 might be a move. I don't think I have to respond to this. It's not, it's not like a real threat, I don't think. Just e6 could be a thing though. Oh, yeah, I'm just gonna castle. Okay, if, if castling is fine, I want to castle. Like, why am I not castled yet? So now my intuition says take that. I don't want to allow them to mess up our pawns here. I don't think that's a good idea. So I'm probably gonna take, it's a little bit of a concession, but I think I will do it then decide where to go from there. And I'm not really sure where, actually. So now is he threatening this move? Because if he takes and I take and he takes, that one's a pawn, right? So that means Bishop e6 comes to mind. Could also take, I guess, but it doesn't look promising to me. Um, I mean, I, could I take and play bishop f5? I'm kind of getting into my own territory now where I'm gonna think for myself, so brace yourself. <laughs> um, I think bishop e6 I like. I'm also wondering where I'm, what I'm gonna do with my queen. Queen needs to go somewhere. So this idea seems appealing to me, but I guess it hangs the pawn. This idea also seems appealing though, like bishop b6. Okay, I'm gonna play this. They're playing super fast. I have a feeling this is all theory and maybe they're still in theory. They could still be in theory here. Okay, knight b3. I'm not so familiar with this move, but I am familiar with the idea to plop the knight into c5. So this is looking like they're, what they're doing here. So, I could take a check. I mean, do I want to though? Kind of like leaving this bishop pinned. But if they come in here, 
And they're going to do that anyway. That's the problem. Don't really have a way to stop it or anything like that. So now, I guess... So, white's kind of doing whatever they want. So, like, can I play, like, e f6 at the moment? That's, that's the question I should be asking. Can I go f6? Because if they go e3, I take it. That seems good. f6. Um, if they take... I could take... I've got b2 attacked there. Um... F6 and they do nothing, I could take it. Trade rooks, queen e7, put pressure on that. So F6 is looking like a move. Now the question I have is do I take first or not? Or do I go h5 and threaten this? No, because I don't want them to jump into c5. So F6 immediately, can I do that? Can I do F6 immediately? I think maybe I can. Okay, I'm gonna do it. It looks right to me, but I've been wrong before. <laughs> yeah, and this is... You know, my opponent's playing instantly, and I think we're still pretty close to theory, so... So now let's see. Maybe, maybe now they think for themselves, and it's going to be a little more sketchy. We'll find out. Okay, I have a student that wants to do some calculation later. Great. So I would really like to make D4 work. Is it possible that they would take with a queen here? Is that, is that like a thing? I think for sure I got rookie eight, right? I mean, that that actually would lose. So taking here, they're going to take with a pawn. And then what? If they take with a pawn, our rooks are staring down at each other. Um, I could also take, they take back. That kind of loses a tempo for them. Then I play here. They play here, right? Or do they take with a queen there? I mean, I think what I really want to do is get these pawns rolling. So like c5 is another idea. But they just take it. So, I mean, I want to go, this is what I want to do. I want to fork stuff, but I can't. <laughs> so, um, I think maybe I take on e5. Because if not, then what am I, what I play that for? You know, um, I 
I mean, it's also tempting to move the bishop and go, go d4. Bishop g4 is a move, right? What about bishop g4? What do they do here? It doesn't seem normal, but I kind of like it. Um, okay, if they if they go h3, I go here. If they attack me, well, they should save their rook. Then... I guess here. It seems kind of concrete, which I like. I could also take first, then play it. And then they take and take. Hmm. You know what, they probably just take here. <laughs> I don't know why I forgot I was defending that. All right, I'm playing this move. I'm, I'm down to five minutes, and this is what I do. I pontificate about the position a little too much, but I think that can I go bishop f5 now? That'd be interesting if I can. I mean, I'm threatening to put the bishop on, on e4. So, and I'm also stopping the trade, which I don't really want to allow. So like, they could take on c6 again, but it, I don't know. I don't know if I believe it. If they take, well, I just want a, a bishop. So they would have to literally take first. And if they do that, and I take back, and they take, yeah, so I should take with this pawn then. Guess I'll go queen e7, I guess. I like this. Let's go for this. I hope I'm not blundering anything. But I like the idea of putting the, the bishop here, and I'm just low on time now, unfortunately. So, following my usual stuff. So I could take, take, and play bishop before. I think I'm just going to do that. I kind of like it. Took out the bishop. Okay. So Man, I still want to go bishop before. Just don't want to lose like a rook. <laughs> um okay mm. there take take check here and 
Rook F8. So, um, yeah, I don't think I should have let their bishop here. That's what I think now. But um, maybe I just play here. If they push, I take. If they take, I can take. Okay, they went there. Checking the pawn, I guess. Don't really want to move the pawn. But I probably should. Two minutes left. I don't know how I let myself get in these situations. I just, these middle games, I, I get so caught up in the nuances. I think I need to make, I need to think simpler about chess. I don't need to think so. I don't have to be perfect. That's part of my problem. So, so now if I go here, they take, take, they can play this move, which would attack my queen, which is kind of annoying. So I don't think I want to allow that. If I go here. And if takes, I'll take with the queen. And if here, I guess I just move away. And play rook f8. But uh, this is not the position I was dreaming of. Why did I let them get here? I need to push my pawns and I let them blockade it on c5. So that was obviously not right. But um, yeah, and I can't even play rook f8. Now that you mention it. <laughs> so, um, and I'm done on time. a very simple plan and if they go g3 I don't know this bishop is super annoying I don't like it here okay so go there Gosh, I'm gonna get mated. So if I move my bishop, they check me, I take, and that's check me. That's just mean. But if I go g6, I think I'm okay, right? g6, g4, bishop e5. And then if they check, take, check, I have king g7. So I'm gonna go g6. See if they want to still go for it. I don't think they will. Okay, and I think I actually have a little bit of a plan now. Like queen e6 and rook e8. Let's try to win this pawn. And they could stop it without too much trouble.
I really let myself get low on time though. Dang it. I didn't see it coming. <laughs> I'm sure you guys are sick of watching my videos. <laughs> because it's like, I do this every game. And I can't stop. I'm like addicted to it. Um, I don't know if I'm nervous in the middle game or what, but... Okay, but I have a minute left, so let's try to win. Uh, stay focused here. G4, Bishop B4. Check, take, check, King G7. Yeah, I don't know what they do there. I mean, I think I'm winning. So, <laughs> so I don't think G4 and trying to kill me here works anymore. I stopped it. So... They have to do something else, and what would that be, though? Um, they could just play g4 anyway, but not do that. So, like, g4 here. Um, then I'm threatening to take, so maybe they go h3. Could play h5. That looks reckless. No, I don't think h5. Um, I think I bring my rook into the game somehow. Either rook b8 or rook e8. But I need a plan to get rid of this bishop, and I, I don't know what to do. So rook b8 at least lets me uh, poke and prod, prod on the bishop because... I do have this pawn here, so they can't easily play b4. But, like, they could play something like this, which would be super annoying. Because then I still can't get rid of it. So I'm just worse here, I think. I I let them get this, like, blockading my pawn. So I, I'm worse. But there should be some, some chances to fight on. Okay, so what do we want to do here? Um, mm -hmm. let's go here I just want to um, I don't have much time but make them worry about something they could try this they did that interesting let's just you know, attack something. It's like the first time I attacked something in a long time. <laughs> so I just want to. I just want to attack something. Okay, they could defend with the the rook. They could defend with the bishop. It doesn't seem right though. I think we can play this right. There's no check. Take, 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 we win. And if check, take, take, can G7? Should be okay. Yeah, I think it's fine. Okay, so we're on their pawn. If they go here, I feel like then we're ready to. play bishop before and take the pawn. They did do it. So I'm not sure how they're going to defend their pawn. They're going to go like this. They might really do that. Okay, I feel like we're getting closer to holding a draw now. 
they're actually using time. I don't know why I don't play faster sooner. Once I'm in the mode, it's like, I feel like I know what I'm doing. I just don't know why I don't feel that earlier. Um, this bishop's so freaking annoying, though. I just, I want to go rook f8, you know, of course. And I can't even do this. So they come back. Okay. Um... I don't really think that works. So if I take, they go here, a check. I go here. They can then go check. Take, check, can G7. I still think it's okay, but I could be wrong. So that's a little scary, but what about take, 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 check, king g7. Oops, my laundry's ready. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. I don't have time, but I think this is still, I think I can take this pawn. And if so, it's correct. So, yeah, check, okay. Um, I was okay here. Am I wrong? I'm wrong. <laughs> that looks vicious. Okay. That wins. That wins. I have no way out of this. Good game. Good game. Well played. I think I really messed this one up. Let's have a quick look at it. See what I can learn from it. They played awesome. 92%. I mean, what am I supposed to do? 92%. Um, what did I do this game? Anything? They did have a couple mistakes, though. But I never really had a chance to be better or anything. So they knew tons of theory. I kind of knew this theory, too, but not that great. But it looks like I found the right moves. I just, I had to use some time to find it. They then played knight b3 computer says is the best move. I want F6, which is the best move. Okay, so I, I mean, I'm happy with this. I, I had to spend two minutes to find it, though. <laughs> but they just, like, find the best moves with no time? Yeah, Queen C3's top engine move. Which also looks kind of weird because they're allowing me to take here. I was thinking about taking here. And then I guess I could go queen e7, but then they go knight c5. Yeah, I didn't like knight c5, so that's why I didn't do that. Okay, so they took and then went here, and this move is, is good. Now I'm at three minutes, so really it's just a time thing. Yeah, I took the knight. I don't think I would do that if I wasn't in time pressure. I, I just like hastily was like, yeah, I'll just take, take and play. Play this way. But this allows that bishop to c5, so why would I ever do this? Okay, but the position's equal. Or, I mean, white slightly better, which is just normal. Okay, now they go rook 81. Rook 81 is top engine move. So now I'm feeling suspicious. I want queen d7, top engine move. Queen d4. Okay, this move is not in the top moves at all. 
So I feel a little better about that one. Yeah, and I go A5. A6 is listed, but not A5. I'm not sure why. So I go um, A5. And position's still slightly better for white. So I go here. I go bishop e6 it doesn't like. Yeah, bishop e4 was my idea. I'm not sure why I didn't go bishop e4. I think it's because they double. I was looking at something like here, they double. And I don't have rook f8. So that made me turn away from this. The computer says h5. Like, why? I don't understand h5. I have no clue what that move does. Okay, so um, they did double. I take, take. I go here. Now queen of four is best, and they find it. I'm pretty suspicious, I have to admit. So I go g6. So yeah, and this move did feel strong. I mean, actually, I think they could find this move because they thought a while, I think. No, they didn't. Okay, and now I cannot move my bishop. My bishop's pinned because I, I believe they just have like sack the queen and check me, which I did see. So I played this. They played c3. c3, second best move. I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to suspect everyone of cheating, but like, come on. They spend no time and find all these good moves. Queen e6. Okay, rookie two. It's listed though. Still better for white too. And they spent barely any time. One minute. So I go here. <laughs> Rook f2, top engine move again. I take the pawn with, you know, 30 seconds left. I was calculating it. I thought I don't get mated, but guess what? I do get mated. King h8. And I forgot, I didn't see this bishop d4 thing. Yeah, and they saw it so fast. I'm kind of skeptical, I must say. <laughs> but um, maybe they're just really good at chess. I mean, what can you say? To find all these moves so fast, or maybe they use my time. Which, let's assume they did, because they the mistakes they made weren't real mistakes, according to the engine. And you can see the graph is just like, yeah, and they play like a 2400. So congrats to them for doing that, I guess. And um, I guess I'll play another one. So I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.